A lot of routing to do here. So I have to control both Mario and Luigi in this practice. Nice. Uh, so how is everyone tonight? Oh, you're playing a little cyberpunk? Did they, didn't they have like an update? It's a little, it's a little better now, right? It's not as crusty. I need to go find a band to play with? Why do you say that? I've never really played in a band before. Who knows? Maybe I'm like a drummer that, that like, maybe I don't get along with anyone. Maybe I'll, maybe it would never work. You wouldn't know until you try, Mitch. It's true. Yo, the F-099, yeah, a lot of people have been playing that. Yes, I'm both Mario and Luigi because I'm practicing for uh, a GDQ run. Uh, that's gonna be in Vegas at the end of this month. Uh, charity, GDQX. Essentially a GDQ run. Oh, baby, that was, yeah, tunnel. Oh, I gotta do the fly strat, all right, guys. This is a cool strategy that you would only see in a co-op run. I have to like damage boost fly. Yo, that's sick, right? You have to admit that's a pretty cool strat. Uh, I gotta keep switching controllers. I feel like that's the hardest part right now. I have to remember to switch the controllers back and forth, and then I have to remember where the previous player was, which is like not so bad, but like it, it can be pretty bad. Is there an advantage to do the versus screen for specific? Sometimes, yes. Now remember, we turn back at the end of levels to get different cards, but if we go to the battle zone, we can hit the cards out of each other and we'll never get the one-ups. So you can avoid the one-up animation every time, but that's not really beneficial. Ooh, baby, that was nice. Shiny Zenny, hey, were you on the podcast today? Yeah, you did that today, right on. What'd you guys talk about? You spent way too long, so what, you think the podcast won't be good because you talk too much? You just felt like you were too self-centered for like half of it? Yeah, well, you know, I discovered this and, you know, thanks to me, this happened and, you know, if it wasn't for my presence in the community, you know, Zost wouldn't be around. I got oats and goats into Metroid, you know, that was just kind of my thing. Well, if it wasn't like that, then I think, I think you're good. I think it was, it was probably a good, uh, good podcast. Okay, so that's two that ended up like that. I can save a lot more time in World 2, but I'm scared of the, the fire pattern. Oh, I have to switch controllers. Okay, okay, I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Do not spawn. Okay, we're good. Nice. Good luck with the run, Mitch! Yo, thanks. No! Luigi spawned it! What the f- Come on, man! Luigi was not supposed to spawn it. How the fuck do I avoid that one? Yeah, at least I got good bros, I guess. I think clouding there was the right move, because then I beat this. I feel like I should have stomped the Boom Boom as Mario. I think that's what I have to do to get more points to flush out the spade card earlier. Is there a difference from the single player? Yes, a very big difference. We don't share items, so whoever gets the Hammer Brothers with specific items has to be the player to use those specific items on levels where you have to. So like a P-Wing, for instance. Levels where you use P-Wings in the speedrun, when the time comes, you better hope that that character is the one to do the level at that time, or else you might not have a P-Wing, so you have to keep up for that. One of the other things you have to keep up with is that while one person beats a level, the next person switches, 
And if that person beats a level and creates a spade card game, then the person in behind will have to run into that spade card game, forcing them to play it. So you have to try and avoid your score with spade card games to not waste time. Spade card game is like a 10 second time loss, which is uh, what we're about to see happen here. Another one is boss patterns. Boss patterns are changing now because we're on different tiles in the world at certain times when we fight the boss. So yeah, this big time loss here is all due to the spade card game, the extra spade card game. Uh, my co-op partner is uh, the Haxor. So as long as I don't spawn a spade card game right now, Okay, now Luigi's gonna spawn the spade card, right? Hopefully. Oh, maybe Mario spawns it. That would be good. Who's your co-op partner? Very nice. All right, Luigi's got the cloud. Mario's got the star. No, Mario's got the P-Wing. That's pretty good. The goal is like to change up, right? You want each character to kind of have a P-Wing. That way you, you both have a lot of room. Luigi used the star at the beginning of the game, so getting that star back, that's also good. So right now I'm like thinking about what I'm supposed to be doing in World 5. Alright, we have a big time save in World 4. Very nice. Need help with one two? Are you having trouble getting key speed at the start? Try forbid. What is forbidden one two? Are you just making up names for P speed strats? There's nothing to achieve with a faster one two. I know there's a faster strat in one two technically, but it's like not. It's not a thing. I'm not gonna say it's not RTA viable, it's just a waste of time to practice on. What is one gameplay mechanic I would add to Mario 3? I have no idea. What I would add to Mario 3? I don't know if I'd add anything. I call 2-5. I called the, I made a YouTube video about 2-5 P-Speed. I called that one forbidden because it's just like useless to even think about going for. Another spade card, man. I don't know how that happened. Mario running left is a curse? It's true. I will say, though, I do like 5-3 as a level. You would add a pooping butt, so Mario's just constantly shitting. This is why you don't come up with the ideas. Probably better than Mario Wonder, though. I'm just kidding. They, so, some people play tested Mario Wonder, right? Said it was good. There goes 10 seconds. Luigi needs to spawn the card in World 5. So that means Luigi needs to get not as many Hammer Brothers in World 4. Or Mario could have got one more Hammer Brother. Who's spawning the spade card? Mario spawned the last one. So I'm guessing Luigi's going to spawn this next one? Damn, man, if I didn't lose the 10 second from the spade card game, holy fuck. Damn. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go in the pipe, come out of the pipe so I can spawn the spade card game. That'll technically be less time. All right, let's take a look, hopefully. Does Pog work? Fuck! Damn it! 
I didn't know if I was gonna get the spade card or not. So that was just a waste of time. Like Mario's obviously not gonna spawn the spade card here, right? Luigi will spawn it on the next level. All right. Do I need two people? Well, okay, so technically no, but also technically yes. Like I can still do this co-op like with myself and beat the world record and theoretically, like technically, it is faster than the co-op, but officially, like for speedruns.com kind of thing, not official. It's like a yes, no. In reality, did I go faster than me and Haxer? Yes, so it is faster, but is it like official? I guess no. Who's spawning the spade card game? Like Mario spawned the last one, so I figured Luigi was gonna spawn this one. Thank you. Whoa! Doing that with Big Mario is weird. Get in there. Luigi's the best bro? Luigi's okay. you look at that. So I'm a little focused. 100% co-op is a lot more mentally exhausting than normal 100%. Normal 100% run, I don't have to worry about anything. This, I have to worry about where spade card games are spawning. What character has what items is very important as well. Never a boasted. Look at how fucking unlucky I'm getting. Jesus. I wonder if the delay in time changes my score just enough that it like fucks me over or something. What? What? There goes another 10 seconds. What is going on, man? That's so annoying because Luigi spawned the spade card game in World 6 last time as well. Nobody got it and then Luigi did not spawn the spade. It's because Luigi hadn't overlapped the spade card game, whereas in this run he did. Luigi's got to settle it down with the points. Yeah, no 7-4 clip in this category, sorry. I mean, it does suck, but if like, so you could always do the the stupid saying that people say, you gotta work if you gotta work, or do you live to work or do you work to live? It sucks because if you're like, you know what, I wanna get better experiences in life, so fuck you work, but then if you get fired, you're really fucked. What are you supposed to do? Life is cringe like that. Right, double-edged sword. You can sit there and be like, damn, I missed out on all those fun things, but I had a good time at work. have a apparently I don't have a star as small Mario or as Mario that's kind of weird the, oh the people if I didn't work I'd be so bored sure you would yeah you'd be so bored couldn't possibly find anything else in this world to do
It's called a, a hobie? What's a hobie? Yes, route is much different in co-op. Yes, I would say co-op 100% is very close to being more intriguing uh, than the original. Nah, 7-1 was cringe. Okay, so I cannot submit this run. If I beat the world record with just me, I can't submit the run to speed speedruns.com because I'm not playing cooperatively with someone else. But it te it is the world record to to beat, right? It's officially not official. Needs its own. No, it doesn't need its own category. That's just silly. What would it be called? One player, two player? Hey guys, check out my new category. All right, so we're still ahead thanks to that seven one. That's pretty good actually. Off screen one grab though, just to boost it even further. Okay, so this run got three spade card games. Any co-op percent? Co-op human percent? I don't need to P-Wing here. If I had my mushroom, I could just do it normally, but... Oh, just you wait, man. Haxer is much better at Mario 3 now. Like when we did when we did the co-op, I'm pretty sure Haxer's time and Warpless was still like a 51, probably the, the 51 like 10 or something weird like that. I don't know his what his times were. Yeah, this was like three years ago for Haxer. I mean, obviously I've gotten better as well. Well, that's what's that's the interesting part about co-op. It's a team run. I wouldn't take warpless co-op serious like at all. You're already taking the worst things about warpless and like <laughs> you're like amplify it like fuck co-op warpless. But 100% that's where it's at, man. 100% co-op is beautiful. Spade card games in this category are like extra hammer brothers now. Man, that's three spade cards. Fuck. Yeah, world three, man. This is in reality a new world record for the co-op 100%, but it's not official, so I can't I can't submit it. I'll give you an example. If two people played co-op Mario 3, like literally together in the same room, and they got a 119.45, they will feel unsatisfied. They will know. They will know that it's technically not the fastest, but there's a certain element to like having a secondary player, which I think is is very fun. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really enjoyed my content, do not forget to subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. Thank you all for watching.